let V be the vector space of 2 by 2 matrices over R and we need to determine whether the matrices A, B, C that belongs to V are linearly independent or not. Where A, B, C are these matrices given to us, right? So first we need to get the linear combinations of these. For the scalars alpha A plus beta B plus gamma C equal to 0 and then we need to check whether we are getting alpha equal to beta equal to gamma, all the scalars to be equal to zero or not. The condition for the linearly independency, right? So let alpha A plus beta B plus gamma C equal to zero. Then alpha just writing the matrix A that is given to us plus beta the matrix B plus gamma the matrix C. On adding these matrices, we get the first element for the first row. It is alpha plus 3 beta plus gamma. Then the second element for the first row, it is 2 alpha minus beta minus 5 gamma. Then the first element for the second row, 3 alpha plus 2 beta minus 4 gamma. And then we get alpha plus 2 beta. That's it. So this is equal to right here the zero matrix of 2 by 2 form. Alpha plus 3 beta plus gamma is equal to 0. 2 alpha minus beta minus 5 gamma is equal to 0. And similarly 3 alpha plus 2 beta minus 4 gamma equal to 0. And alpha plus twice of beta is equal to 0. So now we can write this set as the coefficient matrix and then alpha beta gamma and that is equal to the column matrix. How to get the coefficient matrix? Just writing the coefficients of alpha first, 1, 2, 3, and 1. And then writing the coefficients of beta. So this is 3, minus 1, 2, 2. And then the writing the coefficients of gamma, that is 1, negative 5, negative 4, and 0. So writing this matrix. So we have got this format and mark this as 1. Let me name this matrix as A and so let A be the coefficient matrix. Let's reduce this matrix to the row echelon form. In the first row, I'm having 1 to be the leading entry. I need to make this a leading element for that. I need to make all these entries to be 0 first. For that, we need to apply the row operations and what I'm going to do is just multiplying the row 1 with negative 2 and adding its elements to the row 2. Similarly, multiplying the same row with negative 3 and adding its elements to the row 3rd. So that I can get 0 in place of 3, right? And to get 0 in place of 1, just multiply the row 1 with negative 1 and adding its elements to the last row. So on applying the operations, we get writing the first row as it is. And on applying these operations, we get... 0, negative 7, negative 7, 0, negative 7, negative 7, and 0, negative 1, negative 1, right? So this is the leading element for the first row. For the second row, I'm having negative 7 over here, right? The leading entry, what is the leading entry? It is the first non-zero element of the row, right? I need to get 1 in place of negative 7. Can I get that? Yes. For that, just multiply the row 2 with minus 1 by 7 and then you will get 1 over here. Right? So let's apply this operation. So in the second row, we get 0, 1, 1. Now I'm having 1 to be the leading entry for the second row, right? Okay. To make this the leading element, I need to make 0 in place of negative 7 and negative 1 and also, if possible, get 0 in place of 3 also. But while applying the operations, this leading element should not be disturbed, right? Okay, to get 0 in place of negative 7, just multiplying the row 2 with 7 and adding its elements to the row 3rd. To get 0 in place of negative 1, multiplying again the row 2 with 1 and adding its elements to the last row. To get 0 in place of 3, Multiplying the same row with negative 3 and adding its elements to the first row. So we always make use of the row 
having the leading entry. Writing the second row as it is, first row is changed into 1, 0, negative 2. Third row is changed into 0, 0, 0 and fourth row is also changed into 0, 0, 0. So we are getting two non-zero rows. And this is our reduced row echelon for matrix, right? So let's replace this matrix with this A matrix, right? So therefore, the system 1 reduces to, writing here the reduced form matrix. And now from this format, we get the number of equations as just multiplying alpha with 1. So this is alpha plus multiplying beta with 0, 0 into beta plus multiplying this gamma with negative 2 equal to 0. So that is alpha minus 2 gamma equal to 0. Similarly, we can get the second equation. So alpha into 0 is 0 plus beta into 1 is beta plus gamma into 1 is gamma equal to this 0. Rest of the rows is having 0, 0, 0 elements so it's okay. So I got these two linear equations, right? Please mark this as 2. The set 2 is a system of linear equations having three variables and I need to get the value of alpha, beta, gamma, right? Always note that if the number of equations is more than the number of variables, then we get the row echelon form matrix, like in the previous example, right? If the number of equations is less than the number of variables, that is in this case, the number of equations, that is 2, is less than the number of variables, then we are having the non-trivial solution for this. Non-trivial solution means Alpha, beta, gamma are not all zero. And if the number of equations equals to the number of variables, then we form coefficient matrix. So in our case, we are having the second condition. So as the number of equations is strictly less than the number of variables, thus the system 2 is having non-trivial solution. Therefore, alpha, beta, gamma are not all zero, which means for the linear combinations of alpha A plus beta B plus gamma C equal to zero for this linear combination, alpha, beta, gamma are not all zero. And if the alpha, beta, gamma, the scalars are not all zero for this linear combination, then we say that A, B, C. These are linearly dependent. If alpha, beta, gamma all zero, then we are having the condition for the linearly independency. Right? So hence, A, B, C are linearly dependent. So for this linear combination for these matrices, we get alpha, beta, gamma not all zero. So matrices A, B, C are linearly dependent. LD, that is linearly dependent. LI denotes linearly independent. So the matrices are linearly dependent. Alright, thank you.